excited, they would get a drop a new album, and we are finally uh, ready to listen to it. But before we do that, hi everyone, Pop is in the house, and today, they get again, as I said, dropped the album number seven. The board came back <laughs> into our reviews. There was a time uh, when I was saying that if there was no board behind my back, it would have been not it would not be a proper music with Bob video. And unfortunately, um, last videos, you know, I was not featuring uh, boards behind me. So I <laughs> I got nostalgic over my own channel. <laughs> you know, I missed the boards behind me and I really wanted to include um, to a special album for me, board behind me. Uh, there you get it, my favorite. DJ, along with Calvin Harris, I always say that to you, so you probably know that already. Uh, but yeah, there you get Oh, oh, wait, <laughs> before we go there, actually, again, before we go there, <laughs> I have also a quote of the day prepared, so hold on a second. <laughs> I gotta wear this, you know, <laughs> I gotta give you a quote. It's been a minute, it's been a hot, long minute without quote of the day. Hold on, <laughs> quote. All the day. <laughs> Never apologize for being sensitive or emotional. It's a sign that you have a big heart and that you are not afraid to let others see it. Showing your emotions is a sign of strength. Yes, bitch. Sign of strength, not a weakness. Okay? Showing emotions is necessary. It's essential it's much better to show your emotions and to show to tell how you really actually feel instead of hiding everything and then like uh <laughs> blast uh when your patience is um out of control at this point you know so uh you can uh have a discussion with me about that comment below if you uh think that uh, no that's not true <laughs> it's better to hide everything uh, if that's what you were doing in whole life maybe you should try to open up <laughs> to see how you like it you know <laughs> as like me <laughs> and i'm opening with you guys right now with my own um experiences anyway i'm <laughs> ready to dive into this album and i hope you are ready to first reaction there you get a seven let's go track one don't Leave Me Alone featuring Anna Marie. I already um, reacted to it and I gave my thoughts on it. If you are interested, please, yeah. <laughs> you can actually watch the video um, at the end. I will give you uh, the link to it again, so don't worry. Um, but I'm curious to go into track number two immediately. Uh, Battle featuring Fausia. We don't hide, no, we don't. We don't save from anyone. Okay, I like the Cause you and I, I like the vocals, better. it's really nice. Okay, I like it, I like it. It's, uh, it has a lot of sort of passion behind the vocals and the beat is quite fast. Yeah. Uh, Fawzia, hopefully I'm saying her name right. She can sing really nice again, like I'm gonna point it out. Like I'm really loving her vocals, her abilities. And the drop is pretty cool too. Alright, well that was nice. Ooh, track 3 is Flames! Damn, awesome. I really love this track. I have not listened to this song on camera. That's what I'm listening now, basically. Just keep moving. Don't stop moving. Oh, oh, oh. Figure it out. Figure it out. You can do that. Ah, yes. Flames. 
yeah really an awesome song uh, I was actually thinking to uh, you know in the middle of the track um, maybe I should skip it because uh, you know like I already heard it and um, we should just go to track 4 and check it out but like I couldn't stop pause this song because like it's so fucking good you know like I was still jamming to it I, I finished the song till the end that's how good it is like even after so many so much time uh, you know like uh, passed already after uh, this song was dropped still um, it's really enjoyable track for me um, it can be a contender um, of the you know like to be in the best songs of the year for me for sure and I will uh, do it um, you know that list at the end of the December um, so stay tuned for that for sure track 4 Blame It On Love featuring Madison Beer I like it yeah that, that, that. All we do is it sounds like a Kaigo song, to be honest. But it's nice. It's cool. Like I, <laughs> I like Kaigo too, so it works for me. Yep. Yeah. This bridge is nice too. I like that. I like the addition into the song because uh, you know like the song if it was like only this one dimensional just like the verse the beat I mean the chorus you know like it was kind of getting stale like it was like going for like two times already and I thought like if there will be no bridge this song will start get, uh, to get uh, boring but no we have a bridge and it's pretty nice let, just, let me know uh, nice piano at the end for sure uh, approval approval on that track five say my name featuring bb rexa and jay bobby you've been dressing up the truth i've been dressing up oh. the then you leave me in this yep. room this yeah this is this should be a hit in the radio for sure you say i'm the only one if it's true then why you running you running y'all what's with your behavior Say let me heal. Okay. Interesting. If you love me, let me heal. Working like a stranger. What's with your behavior? Six goodbye. I already listened to it uh, on the camera, so I don't have to, um, you know, listen to it again. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying is like I don't have to, because I honestly am not a fan of the song. Uh, you guys know that because you already watched um, my video on that, hopefully. Um, but if not, uh, you can check out the uh, reaction to goodbye and drive as well. Uh, well, drive is a different different story, and we're gonna come to it later uh, on this track list but hold on I need a water break <laughs> let's dig into track 7 <laughs> I'm that bitch featuring Sabity I see. I see. it's about to get lit in this house Yes, yes, yes. Oh. If I want it, I'm a fucking go get it. All the good about myself, no competition. I'm that bitch, I'm that bitch, I'm that bitch, I'm that bitch, I'm that bitch. 
I like the way she says it. Yeah, definitely. I will, I will blast this track, um, in the car or in the nightclub. See if I will go there as a DJ. Um, I'm starting to do that actually. Nice. Yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm getting you know my first steps I would say just as a DJ nothing too crazy like not at all but trying to work um, at night in this uh, restaurants or like hopefully at clubs one day um, as a DJ just to put some records and songs I like uh, to other people so they will also enjoy it because like when I go out there in the clubs, and this is not related to David Guetta, because uh, I literally have been in his concert last year uh, when he was here in San Diego, um, and uh, you know the shit was fire. You know I had zero complaints. I was enjoying dancing uh, on his um, concert. It was not. It was like a radio show concert. So he came in last there were other people like machine gun kelly actually we discussed about him earlier today we also saw with my sister um Haley steinfeld backstreet boys um niall horan from one direction and um other other stars like that um halsey of course uh, of course <laughs> anyway uh so the ghetto was really uh nice over there he really showed his talent with uh, you know making the whole crowd dance over there but uh, when it comes to like local nightclubs for example I went uh, the, the place is called basement and um, I, I don't like the songs they put there they they don't put like familiar songs usually you know usually they're just playing their own stuff which you know not many people are aware of and it's like or or they play even like songs only in dubstep or or uh, this trance uh, genre which is like it's it, it's not even like EDM it's like much more like it's, it's more hardcore and like I love EDM but that's not in EDM when you listen to songs in ultra music festival that's freaking freaking fire right like the people who play there like DJ Snake or but the Martin Garris but that that's the top names but I even I'm uh, I'm talking about like even like those who are not that famous like Alice in Wonderland or um, I don't know like <laughs> Galantis maybe you know Th those people are also great I really, I really love listening uh, to these EDM tracks they have to offer over there, right? But not in clubs. So that's why I'm like, you know what? Like, I want to give <laughs> what people desire, you know? <laughs> like, I want to give um, people uh, really nice EDM tracks or uh, just uh, popular songs. And not necessarily even like hip hop because, like, um, the way right now like uh, the hip-hop is overshadowing um, the pop culture as well there aren't many pop songs anymore if you have noticed this year especially like in the, uh, and also in the billboard charts if you have noticed a um, lot of songs are you know rap songs I mean I love rap but in the clubs you wanna listen to dance songs you know like not raps like you cannot dance to rap song you know it's hard you know uh, that's why you just end up being like standing there and just like doing this and the whole crowd is just doing this you know yeah nice beat you know <laughs> like let's say tiger taste yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. but like you know you cannot like, I don't know like dance to it you know crazily so but yeah, that's just uh, my take on what's happening right now in clubs or um, in music in general. Um, the reason I started to actually talk about this is because uh, this track, I'm That Bitch, track 7, this can be actually applied uh, to my uh, sets. Alright, uh, track 8, that's definitely the 
I will for sure, for sure put this track as well as one of my, um, you know, uh, DJ songs uh, over there is Like I Do because that's a club banger, this really awesome song. I really want to listen to it, even though I heard it. Um, let's listen to it. <laughs> this fucking beat is so nice. Next track, track 9, To You, featuring Justin Bieber, already heard that too, fantastic track as well, um, for some reason it's blocked on Apple Music, I don't know why I cannot play it, DJ, if you are seeing this, please fix this issue, because <laughs> I need that track <laughs> like uh, to flow uh, with the album, Like I don't want to uh, listen to it separately, um, just because of that we'll probably have to skip the song and but uh, you can check out my reaction uh, let me see oh yeah okay uh, yeah <laughs> track 10 she knows how to love me featuring Jess Klein and Stefan Don okay didn't expect this at all <laughs> come on come on come on This reminds me of Hey Mama. Da -da -da. Yeah, definitely. Nice, nice. Fucking with this track. Definitely. Oh, look at that piano. Oh, shit. That piano work was awesome. And this sample. Yep. Yeah, this, de this song definitely follows the Hey Mama formula. You have, uh, you know, Protege of BB Rexa, Jesse Glein. You know, similar style of singing at that chorus um, and then also you have a uh, rapper, female rapper protege of Nicki Minaj, Steph Don right here and also the way this track sounds like yeah, this is like Hey Mama, Hey Mama instrumentals so um, I mean okay <laughs> you know like uh, nothing bad, nothing wrong with that I'm just pointing this out that's all okay nice track um track 11 motto featuring Lil Uzi Bird, Jeezy and Mally Mall okay. Okay. decent so far decent mm. It sounds nice, for sure. Well, okay, track, mm, not a favorite, not a favorite at all. Um, track 12, Drive, featuring Delilah Montago. Well, now this track is a fucking masterpiece. Bro, when I first heard it, I yes, I already liked it before. And I, I mean, like on that first listen, I liked it. Uh, but then it grew on me even more. Like once I the, understood the whole sentiment of the track, all, all emotions it had to offer, it was so fucking relatable. The lyrics on that bitch. Hold on, let me just let me just listen to it with you guys. And it's fucking blocked. I don't know why it's blocked on the album. We're gonna separately listen to it though, because I fucking I I was listening to it on repeat. 
had to listen to it to remind myself uh, what it's exactly about <laughs> uh, so when I was having a, a heartbreak time you know after my after a breakup um, I was just driving I was driving to heal like yo <laughs> there were times when I just couldn't do anything because I had to deal with my emotions, you know, uh, my broken heart and like, I was so lifeless I was literally like no passion in me no life in me, like I was not caring what other people were saying to me nothing was as important as having a relationship with the girl I uh, loved you know, and you know, once it was gone, you know, and like there was like no meaning <laughs> in life, sort of. So I was just driving with the complete uh, heartache, with no life in my eyes, just like like a zombie, just like well, well, a sad zombie. I was just like driving a lot. I couldn't sit here I just wanted to like have a fresh air or something cuz yeah, I was I was devastated and like I was driving and driving sometimes I was driving to her ho house as well <laughs> um, and like you know I work and then back and then just driving around to the p places it was significant for us to be there you know like like and this reminded me of those times, this lyrics, because like this actually is saying that, you know, I'm driving to not feel this love, to run out of this love I've, I'm feeling for you because you're not there anymore and I have to forgive you, you know, like, and I'm, I'm just driving 10,000 miles in the night time because I don't know what the fuck to do now because this love was so important for me and I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm sad over it. <sighs> yeah. And the instrumentation around it is so significant and impactful as well. It's so nicely calculated and and nicely performed done song. I really love this song. I really do love this song. Um so yeah, I, I just have to had to uh tell you about this song and definitely check it out you probably already checked it because you are here in this reaction you probably care about the ghetto uh, if you are here with me right now but yeah man this song is so dope I, I really love it definitely definitely will be on my uh, top songs of the year list for sure track 13 para que te quedes Featuring J Balvin again, oh shit, okay. Ella no es fácil de alcanzar. Llega la noche y ella sabe conmigo cómo se debe comportar. Dale para que te quede. Okay. Con tus poderes, tú sigues así provocándome. Esa actitud está matándome. Yo sé que algo me <laughs> nice song. I actually, actually like, uh, started to appreciate it more towards the end of the track. Um, I like it now. Uh, at, the, at the beginning, I was like, yeah, okay, like J Balvin has done so many songs like this, but um, you know, then it still hits you. It's still, he has done so many songs because it's working. You know, like this nice 
Caribbean vibe. It, not even Caribbean, like Hispanic, Hispanic, La Latin vibe. Um, I like it, uh, definitely. Track 14 is Let It Be Me, featuring a Ava Max. Be me, let it be me. And I'll show you love the way it's supposed to be. Okay, the, the sampling the famous song. Okay, nice. Ready to see? I'm all you need. You're a drunk, you're a fool. I'm insane, so right for you. Okay, not a bad track. Pretty cool too. And the last track is Light Headed featuring Sia. Uh, and this is not the first time David Guetta is actually finishing the album with the Sia feature uh, on 2014. Um, listen. He already had a song with Sia. I don't remember the name of it. I'm ready for love. It was like I'm a sleepy track. Life. I'm ready tonight. Catch me on your butterfly. The feeling is right here. I feel so high. I feel so damn lightheaded. I like this. I feel so high. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Really excited for the beat drop. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Sounds familiar. It feels like I already heard it before. The song is nice. I really love it. Whew. Okay, that was the album. Um, side A, actually, but we're not gonna listen to side B because um, the way I thought, uh, the way how I'm gonna do it is since we have both sides. Side A is the Guetta, side B is Jack Back, uh, and that's uh, an Elias of the Guetta's... Um, uh, hold on. <laughs> Basically what I wanted to say is that the Guetta has a um, different name now, Jack Back, and under this Jack Back artist he sort of drops um, house songs you know it's not like EDM or dance songs we used to get from David Guetta it's a uh, it's a different vibe it's really house song and uh, how's the uh, that's a house album uh, side B and the reason I think he did is because he just um, he can do it and uh, he wanted to like experiment and uh, drop those kind of songs as well under his belt in his discography because we all know that you know he can deliver this kind of house nice tracks uh, and house songs uh, the, the way uh, the songs you're gonna get on this album on the side B uh, on Jack Beck side uh, is uh, what you typically hear in bars in nightclubs you know uh, in bars it usually like uh, plays in the background and you like have some alcohol drinking or so whatever um, in nightclubs you, you dance to it and it's um, it's I, I like this kind of uh, music but maybe that's not for you I will actually play the first track because I feel like that the first track is uh, my favorite out of the whole album but uh, the tracks I uh, that stood out for me were um, Again, Reach For Me, we're gonna listen to it right now. Also, Freedom, also Inferno. Um, I would say Afterglow, I would say Think, Think, Think. And probably What To Say, maybe not. Maybe not What To Say, but yeah, those tracks for sure, those uh, four tracks I mentioned uh, are nice and the other tracks are not bad again. Um, I'm just highlighting some of the tracks you can listen to if you want. Uh, like Overtone, track 5, and Pelican, track 7. Those were the tracks where uh, he put out as singles, so they were already available. So keep an eye on, on those tracks as well. But um, yeah, see how you like it. Reach for me, look. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know. Don't you reach for me. You know the sound, right? Don't like you, reach for me. you hear it <laughs> in public. This is typical like nightlife music. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that's basically side B, like that's that kind of tracks you will get if you're interested in that uh, sound, please check it out as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like the reason he did it is because um, he's also excited on the on the sound as well, uh, and um, he had never had like official tracks like that. You know, he was always playing this kind of songs uh, in the, in the clubs, uh, but I don't remember like him putting like official studio versions of this kind of songs in his discography. That's why I think he put it finally as like and under, under another name as Jack Back and like uh, I feel like it's a cool idea um, and I like that we kind of got this side of him as well but side A I loved almost all of the tracks except that G-Eazy Lose Your track and um, I would say also Don't Leave Me Alone it's, it's an okay track for me I don't wanna like can we be honest it's not a bad track, I actually... Now I wanna listen to it! <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without nice you song, fucking nice song actually! <laughs> go first if you really left. Yeah, come on. I don't know if I would be alive today With or without you like night and day Don't you ever leave me, don't you ever go I'm sitting on TV, I know how it goes yeah, Don't leave me alone This part just a little bit disappointed for me, like could have been stronger, you know? But like again, this boom, 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 I really love this part. Nice track. So only tracks I disliked is Jeezy, Lucy Bird, and and Goodbye. Goodbye, like no. I I tried to like the track. Because I like Jason, I like Nicki Minaj. I don't know what's up with that, but I just don't like the track. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't like. I don't care for the sound of it. But other tracks, I I really, uh, as I said, I really enjoy Flames. I really enjoy To You featuring Justin Bieber. By the way, like, look, this should be unblocked. To You, you see, I cannot. When I press play, item not available. Why it's not available? <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it with the album, okay? Like, I wanna. <laughs> Enjoy it like I do fantastic songs as well. Like that those tracks were heard it, right? But with again um with a new track, say my name, fa fantastic, I'm that bitch for sure. She knows how to love me, good track. Parakita uh, Kid uh hopefully said it right. Also nice track. So you know like overall overall good job. Good job David get I'm I'm glad that you are back. This video is gonna be very long. Sorry for that, <laughs> but we are ending it here. I'm rating this 7 out of 10. Solid project. Really? Oh, 7. Shit, I just realized 7. Well, 7 out of 10. Favorite uh, number of the day is 7. <laughs> uh, hit the like button if you liked this reaction and review. Um, hopefully, you did. <laughs> uh, please help me with uh, gaining more subscribers. I would really appreciate your help. Maybe tell your uh, friends or family, um, people you care about. You know, see if you enjoy my videos, uh, you know, hopefully, they will enjoy it too. Um, and subscribe yourself if you are here uh, for the first time. And also, um, yeah. Uh, cl oh, click the notification bell. <laughs> notification bell to stay updated when I drop a video. You will be here immediately uh, with me jamming to new tracks. I will see you in the next videos. Take care of yourself and bye bye. When it comes to you, there's no crime. Let's take both of